Uh, thank you. I come from a border county in Ireland which borders Northern Ireland. And I have to say that we are extremely worried and still worried about Brexit. And we no longer trust the British to leave in an orderly fashion. And may I ask the Brexiteers, do you actually know what you want? It's time to come out and say what you actually want to do about this. And it's time to stop mis-selling the backstop. It is only an insurance policy that we need to ensure that there is never a hard border in Ireland again. And remember that those who wanted Brexit, they said it would be the easiest trade in history. Well, if it is the easiest trade in history, there would never be need for the backstop and it would never be used. This should not be about the privileged few in Westminster. It's about real consequences for real people in our region, particularly the northwest region and along the border in Ireland. It's about students who may have to change their schools. It's about people who will not be able to cross the border to work. And it's about a lot of people who will lose their jobs. It's about sick people who will not have access to the nearest hospital. And it's about healing communities across the border who may be divided again. And we are all aware of the devastating consequences a hard border would have on the island of Ireland. And nobody, but nobody, wants to return to the violent past we had before. And this is why the backstop is needed. As a farmer, this will have a detrimental effect on our farming communities, on the brand identity that we have built up over the years, and on the ability to be able to sell and buy high-quality food. And as a father, I cannot believe that the UK have decided to give their children less opportunities than they have at present to work and study and maybe live in other parts of the European Union. And as an elected representative, I just dread to think of what this will do to the communities along the border region, that we have spent years trying to heal divisions of the past. It is time for the Brexiteers to stop blaming Brussels and stop blaming the Irish. Look in the mirror and blame yourselves for what has happened. It is not Brussels or the Irish fault. Thank you very much.